Today, I've been talking to a bunch of people on doing document extraction. And in particular, I think a lot of people who are coming into this world with that much machine learning experience kind of think that AGI is here and they think that GPT-4 can just do everything. And that's just not true. In particular, they always ask me, like, like, we are kind of cheating, man. Like, we wrote this one prompt and our prompt engineering isn't good. And so we classify this document into 10 different types. And then we wrote a different prompt for each one. Do you have any recommendations? Do you think this is like best practices? And the answer is just yes. If you think about how machine learning works, very few models these days work on a global model, right? Even like GPT-4 is a mixture of experts. There's specific specializations and capabilities that each one does, and we're routing them in some way. This should be the same thing in something as simple as document classification. If documents are coming in and one of them is a procurement form and one of them is a is a bill from this company and this other document is a bill for another company. Another document is a tax form or a receipt. You should absolutely try your best to figure out what the categories are and do as much pre-work as possible. That is effectively the inductive bias of a model. There are times you use logistic regression. There are times you use uh, random forests. And there are times you might want to use something even simpler, a piecewise regression model. This is the same thing as building out these classification tasks. This is the same thing as deciding to write 10 prompts, and then building out a classification problem, and then routing to the right one. Anyways, the point of this video is just to say that you should absolutely be trying to classify and build hierarchies as often as possible if you believe that the assumptions you're making are actually simplifying assumptions for your model. Also, it's safer than ever to build out these, build out these assumptions and build out these hierarchies because GBD4 can allow you to rewrite the hierarchy at, at any time. If today you think there are seven routes, you can build out seven routes. And when you realize that there were really eight and the first two were the same, you can just go back and reclassify most of your examples. And it's not that expensive, right? Like in, in a world before where having this taxonomy was really valuable, you might have to be in a world where you pay humans to do this relabeling. Because we have four, if you're wrong in your pre-work, it's very easy to not lose all that effort. And you can just rebuild a lot of these indices uh, very easily.